Hello, my name is Maya Nofal. I'm a surgery resident from Boston Medical Center and a Fogarty Fellow with the Department of Global Engagement at Stanford um, and with Lifebox uh, based in Ethiopia. I'll be presenting on post-operative antibiotic prescribing practices and surgical site infections in 18 low and middle income country hospitals. Worldwide, approximately one in six inpatient antibiotic prescriptions is for surgical prophylaxis, including post-operative prophylaxis. The World Health Organization recommends against postoperative antibiotics for preventing postoperative surgical site infections. However, in low and middle income countries, postoperative antibiotic use is common due to perceptions that it reduces SSI rates and that data informing these recommendations are largely derived from high income countries. This study aims to describe postoperative antibiotic prescribing patterns and related SSI rates. We included patients from 18 low and middle income country hospitals with wound class one or two operations and without any clinical signs of infections for 48 hours postoperatively. Patient data were collected as part of the Clean Cut Program, a surgical quality improvement program from 2019 to 2022. Clinical data on antibiotic administration, indication, surgical site infections, length of stay, and adherence to perioperative infection prevention standard were collected by trained personnel. The association between postoperative antibiotic prophylaxis and SSI was analyzed via logistic regression controlling for sex, wound class, case urgency, surgical specialty, and degree of adherence to perioperative infection prevention practices. Of our 6,945 patients included, 94 of them, 94 percent of them received antibiotics postoperatively. 28 percent received antibiotics beyond 24 hours. Patients receiving postoperative prophylaxis did not have lower surgical site infection rates. However, their length of stay was over 1.4 days longer. In this large prospective cohort, postoperative antibiotics do not reduce surgical site infections in low and middle income countries, but pervasive use is associated with longer length of stay in resource limited healthcare settings. With the growing threat of antimicrobial resistance, surgical initiatives to implement antimicrobial stewardship programs in low and middle income country hospitals are critical. Thank you.